as a musical simpleton. I like simple ideas. Hi, my name is not important. The key is to arrange the simplicity in ways that sound interesting. So today I want to show you a v There's a squirrel above me jumping around. I'm afraid I'm gonna get a pine cone in my head very soon. Take two. The key is to arrange simple ideas in ways that make them sound interesting. So today I want to talk about arranging simple ideas with one very basic trick. In fact, it's so basic it's almost always overlooked, but I think it's a great technique for generating song ideas and just for brainstorming. So let me give you an example on the guitar first. Now, what chord is that? I think of it as an inverted B minor chord. That's how I hear it. Let me show you by putting a B underneath. It sounds like B minor because I'm playing a B minor triad. I'm just starting on the F sharp. F sharp, B and D. Fifth, tonic, fifth, minor, third. But is that the only way to hear it? What if I put a D and an A underneath it? Let's try. I'm outside again. So what do you think? Is it starting to sound like D major? Like a D major sixth chord? It was... <sighs> Mosquito start over. Irrespective of how well you think that worked, I think it's safe to say that context matters a great deal in how we hear things. Now what if I play something like this on the piano? The color of these notes, how we hear them, depends on what we play underneath our melody. Now what if we just keep the melody as it is and just change the chords underneath it? We just loop the melody over each chord change. Now I know it's the most basic, simplest thing. But could it work? What I was playing was F, G, B flat, A, F, F again, down to C, and then D before it repeats. All of these notes happen to be in the key of D minor. So why not take it from there? Let's try it with different chords. Now, as a songwriting technique, as a, a tool or a shortcut to ideas and creativity, this is a powerful technique. You might have to tweak some notes and alter a few things to better accommodate each chord change, but the potential is great for generating ideas. All you do, and I repeat again, is write a melody that you could play over and over again and just change the chords underneath it. That's it. That's all. And that's all from me too. Thank you for watching and have an awesome day. Bye-bye.